everyone, it's Dia. I'm so happy to be back again with another unboxing, but this time of a Filofax in personal size. If you watched my last video, you know that I'm still doing a majority of my planning and my pocket chic sparrow. I do my monthly, weekly, and daily planning in this, but I've been finding the need to maybe go back to the Filofax systems for other household things like my bill binder, my cheer binder, and my work binder. So recently I realized I wanted a specific binder for my YouTube planning. I'd love to put out content at least once a week, but my ideas right now are kind of all scattered. I don't have anything written down. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to create um, one place for me to keep all of my ideas and notes in. I don't know about you guys, but I watch um, YouTube all day. I'm a photographer and I spend hours at my desk editing videos and I love to watch YouTube videos in the backgrounds to get inspiration and ideas. And I guess I just kind of want to provide the same content out there for anybody else who's interested. So Norman over at The Right Touch sent me another Filofax. This time it is the burnt orange personal size in the original. Um, I've had it for about three days now and I'm so anxious to open it up, but I've been waiting to record this video. I was holding off on recording the video because I really wanted to do a setup as well, but I'm not having much luck. I was able to find some um, cute dividers and some other stuff, but I'm actually having a hard time figuring out what exactly I'm going to need in this binder to uh, use it as a YouTube planner. So if any of you guys um, know of any inserts that would be really helpful or if you have a system that you use for planning your blog or YouTube, I would love it if you shared with me down in the comments. Um, if you have a video, even better because I love watching videos. I've already watched quite a few, but uh, I can never get enough. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and show you guys what I received from The Right Touch. And before I do, I just wanted to show you, I got these adorable paper clips from Pigtails and Pockets. And um, I usually just carry my planner around like this or in my Kate Spade purse, which is very boxy and structured. So when I do use that, I just set this in there. It doesn't roll around or anything like that. So my, my paper clips are okay. But I was finding that when I go to my daughter's cheer practice, I throw this in my cheer bag and my paper clips kept falling off. So in perfect timing, um, pigtails, pockets, and pouches actually came out with this pouch. I saw it on her feed and she made, I think she made this one for her, or this kind for herself. And I absolutely fell in love with it. She uh, made a couple of other ones too. And I talked myself out of buying it, said I didn't need it. But then one day when I was throwing my my beautiful chic sparrow into my cheer bag, I thought, you know what, I need that pouch. And luckily she had one left in the exact one I wanted. So I don't use this all the time, but I do use it when I throw it in my cheer bag. And it's kind of nice because I can throw my phone in there with it too. If you're interested in any of her paper clips or her pouches, I'll go ahead and leave those links down below too. I know I already said it, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and unbox my new Fight Effects. Okay, first I want to apologize if you can hear them doing yard work out in front of my apartment. It seems like every time I decide to <laughs> film something, they start doing yard work. So here is the box. I already took it out of the package um, that it came in, but I received it from The Right Touch, and I will link their information below. So it looks like he included the week on two pages for 2017. Like I said, I don't know exactly um, what inserts I'm gonna use, but I do think I probably will use these in it. Okay, it is so pretty and so cute and tiny. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of its sleeve. Oops, sorry, on the camera. There's the file box. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something that I noticed right off the bat that I actually love. It is the matte finish on this one. Can you see it? Because the other one that I have in the A5 size actually is a has a patent finish to it, which is beautiful as well. Um, really hard to photograph, but it is beautiful. And um, the only other thing is these ones tend to get a lot of finger marks on them. You can just rub them right off. It's not that big of a deal but I do love the matte finish on this one. And just really quick, if anybody's curious, there is a size comparison right there. This is the Filofax in A5 size, and this is in the personal size. 
okay, I'm sorry, it's so cute. I just wanna keep holding it. And, and I really do love the matte finish. So I'm gonna open it up um, just like the other originals, it has like two pen loops right here, these two card slots, and this other one right here. Um, I always kind of wonder what to do with this band right here, and I watched a video the other day, and a girl just laminated a really cute piece of um, scrapbook paper and stuck it in there, and I thought it was such a creative and easy idea. Um, as usual, it has the six dividers, all the extra papers that Filofax provides and an adorable little notepad in the back. Okay, I, I love this. I think I'm gonna love using this as my YouTube planner, especially once I find a system that I really like using. Since I knew this was coming and it is going to be one of my sources of inspiration, I decided to decorate this one a lot more than I decorate my daily and monthly planner. If you've ever seen inside my regular planner, I really don't use any stickers. I don't use any washi tape, nothing. I don't like to do that all the time, but it is fun to do every once in a while. So I thought my YouTube planner, maybe I'll change with the seasons. And so for now, I purchased these dividers. I wanted to stick with a Halloween theme through the end of the month, and then I'll probably switch over to a more fall theme because this planner is just so perfect for that. I got these from You Gotta Craft That on Etsy. I'll go ahead and put her link down below. And the reason I liked these was that they are not laminated. Um, I figured since I'm changing this planner out with the seasons and whatever mood I'm feeling, I don't need to have laminated tabs because they'll be replaced before they ever get ruined. And I don't know, there's just something about um, unlaminated tabs that look a lot more um, sleek and neat to me. She also sent these uh, cute little fall stickers along with it. And I ordered some journaling cards from her too. I don't want to drag out this video too long, so I will stop here and hopefully have a setup soon. Please, if anybody has any helpful information, leave it below. I'd love to check it out. So just as an FYI, if you are interested in purchasing this planner, the right touch is having 10% off right now on all their black, orange, and lilac planners. And I'll go ahead and link that down below. That coupon code is going to be available until the 31st. And as usual, he does do free shipping on orders over $75, and his shipping is so speedy fast. I appreciate you coming and listening to me ramble and unbox another file of facts. If you like this video, please remember to hit like. And if you don't want to miss any videos from me, hit the subscribe button. I'm hoping to get at least one video out per week, but um, we'll see. Also follow me on any of my other social media links, especially Instagram, where I am eat, run, plan, repeat. That's where I post most of my pictures of my planning. Again, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.